Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to go ahead and do a weekly check-in too for the second week of April. We're going to go ahead and be concentrating on anything that I spent on the 6th to the 12th. And we're going to go right ahead. And this is my expense tracker right here. This is, tells me um, what um, each um, sticker means. So pink is for unbudgeted, um, gray is for personal spending, green is for gasoline, groceries is blue, and sinking funds is um, orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and put it on the side for my reference right there and I'm gonna get right into it so I have my stickers right here if you're wondering where these stickers are from they're from my shop uh, Erica life vlogs and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out uh, groceries which is um, blue and we're gonna go ahead and put what do I need I need unbudgeted because I did have an unbudgeted expense and that is about it and then I'm going to put my no spend stickers out as well so like all of us we have been practicing um, social distancing and self-isolation so for this week there's not going to be much of an expense going on it's going to be mostly when we go out to get groceries so that's exactly what i want to go ahead and track at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my um blue expense tracker and then i'm gonna use my japanese pen in 0.35 i'll link it down below it's a kind of a new favorite um but it's very inky so just so you guys are aware Anywho, of. let's get right into it so the first um trip that we made was on the 9th and we went to superior um i ended up buying like some um drinks and not very much it was more of like getting some miscellaneous items here and there for our fridge that we were missing so we ended up getting like small things that we were running out of i know i was running out of heavy cream i was running out of eggs i was running out of um like lettuce produce um even cereal so that's what we ended up buying and we spent a total of 26 dollars and 25 cents on Thursday go ahead and put it here and then right after we ended up going to Target because Superior had um, price hikes uh, I don't know why but they put signs everywhere saying that food is considered a commodity and that the commodity is in very high demand and very low supply which I call complete bull crap on it because my sister let me know that Target had eggs for 50 cents while Superior started having them for like eight dollars so we were like no honey we're not going there so we did actually go to Target and we ended up getting like personal hygiene stuff, ice, like snacks, and um, other like small little things that we could do. We, like we got razors and stuff. So um, we ended up spending forty one fifty nine here, which I rather spend that amount at Target because their prices have stayed the same, unlike here, uh, where it's kind of a little ridiculous. So I'm avoiding these um, supermarkets not just because I feel like they're not very there for like the public they're more there for themselves so I've stopped going to um, Superior or anything that's been hiking up the prices just for no reason and then I think that was all the spending I did except for one and that was on the 10th and that was an unbudgeted expense and that one was for movies a lot of the movies have um been coming out for home theater -ness and so you're allowed to like rent them or something but i ended up just going ahead and buying like a trilogy i think of a uh, underworld i bought the whole movie pack and that ended up costing me 25 dollars and so i ended up using my debit card and we had a movie night we have been watching um marathon movies of anything and everything um today we're currently watching harry potter yesterday i think we were watching twilight 
fave. And then the day before we were watching um, Underworld. So it's kind of been nice and we've been kind of just renting out a lot of movies. But other than that, I don't think I have um, been spending anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay down my no spend stickers because it looks like I'm only shopping on Thursdays, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my no spend. So I had a no spend on Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, and today. Since we have not gone out, we did not celebrate Easter. So we've just been home watching movies. We've been watching Harry Potter on Sling TV. So thank you for the people who recommend us Sling TV. It has been amazing. And that is how the week has been going. So now let me weekly check in for that. And that'll be here. Now I haven't done a cash envelope stuffing yet. Just because I haven't like gone out. Um, everything I did was right before um, pay paychecks so i think this was like at midnight on the 10th so i hadn't gotten paid yet so um i will have a cash stuffing for this week but you know i won't be using actual cash i'll just be using my debit card just for like um safety reasons health reasons you know just to make sure that we're all staying safe and not touching money that can be like been coughed on or you know just been contaminated so that's what we're not going to be doing. <laughs> so next, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything that I spent. So for groceries, it was $41.59 plus $26.25. I spent a total of $67.84. And I had... A hundred and eleven dollars and thirty one cents left over, which means for this upcoming week I do have forty three dollars and forty seven cents available to spend on groceries plus whatever cash stuffing I will have. Next, um, I didn't spend anything on gas, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And I should have seventy dollars in that one, which is the only cash envelope that I do carry. Let me go ahead and open that. This is the only one with money in it. And this one should have 70. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. So this one's the only one with cash available in it. All my other ones are completely empty. Let me go ahead and put that right back in here. Oh, and I think Type A Alexa is coming out with new cash envelopes, and they're like professionally heat sealed, so I'm so excited for those. You guys, she's on a roll, and that's about it. As everything else, it's empty, so all my other cash envelopes are empty, because I keep that in my bank account. So I'm going to go ahead and put $70 here, just like that. Next, for spending, I didn't spend anything, and I didn't stuff anything for spending. And then for unbudgeted, I did have $25 of an expense. So I am a negative $25 in my budget, which is covered by my cushion that I keep in my bank account. So that's how that one gets funded, how I'm able to swipe my card. And that has been my weekly check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's always going to be a quick one for this month since we're not really going out. And this one, this one, um, my credit union don't play games. I think they even pulled out my money on Tuesday. So that's always <laughs> a sign that, you know, life keeps going. Bills always get pulled. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're interested in any of the stickers, I'll leave the link to my shop down below. And this is an Erin Condren 7x9 uh, monthly deluxe. I'll have a referral link down below where you can get $10 off. And of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye.